chairman of the Police Service Commission, Muslim Smith, has resigned his appointment reportedly on grounds of ill health. Some other sources are reporting that Mr. Smith, a former Inspector General of Police, accepted the demand of the board of the commission to step down. Smith's resignation is coming amid the growing controversy over who has the powers between the commission and the Inspector General of Police to recruit personnel into the police force. But spokesman of Police Service Commission, Ikechuku Ani, had earlier told this day newspaper that Mr. Smith resigned his appointment because of issues around his health. Well, the PSC spokesman joins us now for more on this development. Thank you so much for joining us on Newsday. Great to have you on the program. Thank you very much. Well, of course, we know that you have said that uh, Mr. Smith resigned from the commission due to health reasons. But we also understand that PSC workers had earlier passed a vote of no confidence on his leadership, especially if he cannot uphold the mandate of the commission as it relates to the recruitment of constables. Did that also perhaps, you know, amount, did that also perhaps influence his decision to resign? Um, I wouldn't think so because the, the former chairman of the commission, Elijah Musuli Smith, formally wrote to Mr. President giving a notice of retirement and that, that, that was done since 5th of September. And the president has graciously accepted his, his uh, resignation and I wished him well. And uh, he he resigned on the basis of uh, health, that he feels he, he needed time to take care of his health. And I'm sure the position is quite stressful uh, and which would take a toll on his health, but the situation is a little bit tricky, seeing as how this maybe has played out before. But I want to ask you, in the terms of the law, which body is allowed to carry out the recruitment process on behalf of the police force? Is it the Police Service Commission or is it the National Police Force? Can you give us some clarity? The, the, the duties of the commission is explicitly stated in the Nigerian constitution and they have the powers to recruit from, at the three entry points in the Nigerian police force. That is the constable Kada the cadet inspectors and the cadet ASPs. Very, very explicit. It is a, a constitutional mandate of the commission to recruit for the Nigerian police. So why then is this crisis lingering? Because I understand that in 2019, the PSC had to drag the Inspector General of Police to court over this same issue. Why is it lingering if it's expressly stated? I honestly wouldn't know why it is still there because it is a constitutional responsibility of the commission and the two agencies, the police and the commission, are agencies working for the same government. The wise men that uh, did the 1999 constitution saw the wisdom in subordinating the Nigerian police to civil control. And that is when they created the Police Service Commission with a mandate, clear mandate, to recruit at a point, promote, dismiss, and exercise disciplinary control over every member of the Nigerian police force except the Inspector General of Police. And uh, there has been quite a bit of controversy over the 1999 Constitution for a myriad of reasons, but another document that is causing a bit of confusion is the Police Act of 2020. I'm wondering, will it be amended as the courts had deemed uh, certain aspects of it illegal, especially when it comes to the empowerment of the police force? Will there be clarity within that document? What I want to say is that uh, the Constitution should be superior to any other legal document in the country. And uh, we, the, the first time the police tried to usurp the duties of the commission, the commission went for judicial interpretation. And as, as it is today, the law, as represented by the decision of the appeal court, is that the powers to recruit still lies with the police service commission. 
In the meantime, we know that um, PSC workers held fresh protest at the Federal Secretariat in Abuja on Tuesday, saying that the management of the commission has refused to attend to their demands since they started their strike. Can you tell us what's been done to resolve this? The management of the commission even sat yesterday and they have looked at the memorandum of understanding that was presented to them by the workers and they have agreed and are working towards resolving the issues raised by the union. Because the issues are issues that are constitutional and uh, very, very clear. The people that uh, wrote the 1999 constitution in their wisdom felt that a, a, a commission like, the, like what we have in the Police Service Commission, which to me is the best you can get anywhere in the world, populated by, by uh, uh, Nigerians of different uh, uh, backgrounds. In the commission, you have uh, representatives of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, the media. You have a member representing the judiciary. You have a member representing the police. You have a, a member representing women. You have non-governmental uh, uh, human rights organization as a member, somebody representing the, the, the organization. And you have the private sector, somebody representing the private sector. You can see that it's, it's, it's representative of, of the Nigerian society. And they are supposed to sit and look after. At, because let me just tell you that the police is supposed to be a civil, a, 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 a civilian outfit. It's a civil force, not not a force anyway. Is 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 they are supposed to be in charge of internal security. And if you have this kind of body made up of these eminent Nigerians, I don't think there should be a problem between the commission and the police, as it requires recruitment, promotion, and discipline. Uh, as it stands, according to reports, uh, there are still 60,000 applicants uh, of the ongoing recruitment process being done by the Police Service Commission uh, regardless. Will you all be going to court to challenge this, or will, will there be a court challenge to stop these? Which is the way forward? The way forward is that I think the commission should be allowed to go ahead with their constitutional responsibilities. We have more than 100,000 applicants that have also have applied for this ongoing 2022 recruitment. And uh, the law says it is the duty of the commission to recruit. I think uh, what we are seeing now is an avoidable development and there is no need for sure of force. Nigeria is a democratic nation and should operate within the tenets of the rule of law. Well, I'd like us to go back to the issue of the aggrieved workers. Amongst other issues, they are complaining of lack of promotion and training, mismanagement of funds meant for the permanent office of the commission. Now, I'd like to know what's been done to clean up the image of this commission and plug all loopholes. If indeed funds have been mismanaged, are we likely to have an investigation where people found to have abused their office will be punished? How soon will that be? I think the commission is doing its best to clean up all this. Like I said yesterday, the management met and within the members of the, the, the commission as the board, they nominated Honorable Justice Clara Batogumbi, a retired justice of Supreme Court, as an acting chairman. And they have already started work. And the first, the priority, uh, the, what they want to do immediately is to clean up this and they're already talking with the staff. And in no distant time, I think there'll be a resolution of all this. And we know that there has been uh, an appointment of a new IGP, uh, retired Supreme Court Justice Clara Ogumbi. Uh, excuse me, she is the uh, she will be the commissioner in the PSC. What do you make of her uh, entering at this time? How will she be able to navigate this situation in order to carry out her duties, seeing as how it, she's coming into a bit of a mess? Uh, Justice Ogubi is a renowned jurist. He has been around. He has been there for four years plus, 
and uh, for for information, he's the Honorable Justice uh, Commissioner One. He's next to the, the 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 former chairman, so he knows he knows what to do, and he's uh, he's doing it. And uh, I can assure you that very soon, all these things will be in the past. Well, we certainly hope so. Ikechuku Ani, spokesman, Police Service Commission. Thank you so much for joining us on Newsday.